What's up guys, back again, Christopher Walker here with a video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some symptoms of zinc deficiency. Now zinc is one of the uh, most important things, basically for men and women, uh, especially for hormonal health. And uh, I focus a lot on that, because I think that's like the, the big lever to pull. If you really want to be healthy, you wanna feel good, have a ton of energy, if you can optimize your hormonal health, you're going to be feeling good, but zinc deficiencies are super, super common in both men and women, and they lead to all sorts of problems. So what, what I'm going to talk about today is the symptoms of a zinc deficiency. So that if you are experiencing any number of these symptoms, might be one, it might be a, a couple of them, uh, then you may have a zinc deficiency. You might want to look into consuming more foods that contain zinc. I'll do a video on that uh, in terms of exactly which foods you should eat. And then, you know, maybe you, you might want to use a zinc supplement. And there are some different types of zinc supplements that you can take. Uh, we have zinc in uh, a very bioavailable form in Testro X. So that could be a good option for guys if, if you are looking to increase your testosterone as well. So we've got basically a list of symptoms. These are, these are things that, you know, they're, they're common in, in multiple different scenarios. But a lot of people just wouldn't attribute them necessarily to a micronutrient deficiency. But the thing is, if you're having these issues because of a zinc deficiency, it's actually a super easy problem to solve. So I think you should try the try addressing the zinc deficiency first before you consider any other options because it is probably the least expensive way to go. It's probably the fastest way to go. You can get rid of these deficiencies as little as about two weeks, uh, if you're especially if you're like supplementing with a good amount um, and then eating this in your diet. So what are the common symptoms of a zinc deficiency first? changes in appetite uh, this is probably a subtle one but you know people have these appetite swings so sometimes you might actually feel a massive loss in appetite that you can't explain uh, there, there could be reasons to explain it otherwise but if, if there's something that you can't explain instantly like you have a lower appetite or probably more common you have an increase in appetite that you can't explain either you know in not being able to explain it would be something like you know maybe if you were going really low in calories and dieting for a year or a long period of time months at a time of course you're going to have an increase in appetite because your body is you know hungry but some people when they when they are deficient in micronutrients have these large increases in appetite appetite and that's just a natural compensation mechanism their body that needs that nutrient or that needs the group of micronutrients so if that is if this change in appetite is coupled with a, a massive craving then that's actually a good sign like if you start craving certain foods and you're just like why the hell am i craving that food then that might be a sign look at the food look at the nutritional analysis of that food your body really does know what it wants and it knows what it needs if you're deficient in zinc or any kind of micronutrient it's going to start craving foods that contain that and uh, especially if it's like kind of an out of the ordinary thing you might want to pay attention to that uh, another thing that goes hand in hand number two with uh, these these uh, symptoms of zinc deficiency is, is actually a change in taste and smell the micronutrients themselves are basically the raw material for all the neuro signaling and uh, signaling basically all the the you know the taste system the smell system all that stuff is integrally involved in your neuronal messaging like basically everything is that's all a part of your nervous system so when uh, the nervous system is not functioning properly you start to experience these symptoms things that you would notice you know are things like change your your taste is like a bit off you know, oh, my, my taste buds have changed a little bit. Is something, something tastes different about this food than it used to, stuff like that. Or if, you know, certain smells start to bother you or you start to notice that your sense of smell is either, uh, you know, a lot, a lot more heightened or insensitive, or uh, maybe it's just a lot worse. So you can't really fully experience the richness of certain smells that you used to. That is a, a common sign of a zinc deficiency. Uh, kind of going hand in hand with the change in appetite. The third one is a weight gain or loss. That that weight gain and loss uh, can easily be uh, one of the cofactors, is essentially appetite. So uh, that that makes a lot of sense. But here's an interesting one: is hair loss. And I'm going to do a, a more detailed video on hair loss. But mineral deficiencies are part of the puzzle of losing hair. Uh, so if you are deficient in zinc, that's actually a common uh, hair loss is a common symptom of that. And there, there are other issues involved with hair loss, so we'll get into more detail in another video. 
Another thing is digestive issues. And that in in, in general, digestive issues, if, if you have them, uh, they're likely a symptom of a lot of different things or, or not a lot, but like a couple different things. There's a system involved with it. Uh, I've, I've done some videos on, on how to fix that leaky gut, how to use probiotics properly. Um, fatigue is another one. Just in general of mineral deficiencies, uh, you're gonna have fatigue. That's another one. Uh, infertility goes hand in hand with hormonal issues. So infertility is, is essential in hormonal problems in general, they all are kind of linked into the same system. The thing is zinc is required for production of a lot of different hormones and it, it's integrally involved in the, in the um, hormonal signaling process. So if you're deficient in it, it's not uncommon to, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, see fertility problem. So, but luckily it's an easy issue to solve if you realize that it's a zinc deficiency. Also, um, your immune function, if you're deficient in zinc, that's another symptom, your immune function suffers. And uh, it's all tied in because your body is systemic. It's just a big old system is, uh, you know, your concentration, memory, your focus, that sort of thing. That is all kind of messed up when you have a zinc deficiency. And then just to tie it up, the last one is nerve dysfunction. I already touched on that a bit with the uh, taste and smell, where the taste and smell issues are, are definitely just a like a more noticeable um, issue involved with the nerve dysfunction. But nerve dysfunction can also, especially in older people, uh, manifest in things like neuropathy, so uh, which is painful, irritating, and uh, can lead to you know just just a lot of irritating issues for people and um, kind of this house on fire issue that they try and solve you know very quickly but it, it typically came through many years of deficiencies so there you have it those are the common symptoms of zinc deficiency uh, like i mentioned you can get zinc uh, for guys especially you can get it in testro x from truth neutra if you like this video subscribe uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of awesome videos here on the channel got a lot of big plans for this channel subscribe give it a thumbs up and uh, leave any questions below or on the community page and I'll see you in the next video